Up coverage, West Hills taking on a Valhalla. Second game, Wolfpack's Colleen Kennedy scores on the dump right there. Norse woman Kira Tolman and Nina Foltz each with a team high eight kills. Valhalla wins in four, the final 3-1. We jump into the water now, the East County Invitational. Boys water polo, Bonita Vista taking on Southwest. Barron's Kyle Rex opens the scoring in the first quarter with this backhander. One of five for him. Teammate Archie Orozco comes from nowhere to steal the ball, does a 360, and he scores one of his five goals. 16-3, Benita Vista, big. Next up, Mira Mesa taking on Helix. Mira Mesa's Justin Nolte com- scores twice for the Marauders. We have one of them right here with the big right hand. But the Highlanders are also led by Alan Aretiki, who scores four times, and senior Ben Potter, who adds another four. Helix wins this one by a 12-5 margin. The tournament will continue on Friday. Our final water polo game takes us to El Ca- or San Marcos, where... They're taking on El Cap in the fourth quarter. El Capitan senior Spencer Hanchett gets a hat trick to bring the Vaqueros within one of the nights. San Marcos counters the Brandon Majors, who scores a major goal right there to give the San Marcos Knights a 10 8 lead. It was his fourth score, but El Cap also has another hatchet. This time it's Grant Hanchett getting two unanswered goals in the final minute of play. In sudden death, it's Brandon Majors with the major score, his fifth, the difference. San Marcos 11 10 in overtime. East County Invite concludes on Saturday at West Hills. On the KOSI News at 6 p.m., we had in the record-setting Sarah Girls field hockey team who just set a section record with their 87th, 88th, and 89th consecutive wins on Saturday. You can find the entire conversation on KOSI.com. Here's a little excerpt. You're the goalkeeper. Yes. (laughs) Can you talk a little bit about what makes this squad so special? Well, they're just a whole lot of fun. It's a small group, and we're we're pretty tight, and the whole team is pretty balanced, so they, they all play well together. We you, don't have one big star. It's just they all play together. You have not been scored upon all season. No. Uh, am I jinxing you by bringing it up? I hope not. <laughs> what, what makes you so good? My teammates don't let the ball come near me. These are rock hard. This is like a baseball, and this is not a soccer ball that can bounce off. We're just... Little Robin Hood action that stays up there relatively easy. Mike, are you nervous? Have you ever shot an apple off a kid's head before? I have not. What do you think? What, what's the degree of difficulty in this? Eh, how hard can it be? What, his head or the apple? We'll have to see. On your marks, three, two, one, shoot! <laughs> Boy, what a chicken. All right, the uh, Prep Picks Report Game of the Week Committee adjourned just before 2 p.m. on Monday afternoon. Here are their decisions. The Mission Federal Alarm Clock Pep Rally Game takes us to Kearney as the Comets play host to Patrick Henry. The Chicken Charlie's Pigskin Idol Game will feature Crawford and Scripps Ranch. Otai Ranch's trip to Olympia in your National City Mile of Cars South Bay Game of the Week. Granite Hills taking on Steel Canyon in the El Cajon East County Ford. Or, East County Ford Game of the Week. The Cathedral Catholic Dons host Madison in the Subway Game. Jersey Mike's Subway or uh, Sandwich Game. San Marcos heads west to take on La Costa Canyon. That's your Draft for Public North County Game of the Week. And those serve as appetizers for the main event. Yeah, we're going to Point Loma for the first time this year. They square off against University City in the Cox Communications Game of the Week. In all, we'll have highlights from 32 games Friday night on the Prep Pigskin Report. We can only hope that we